another question that I saw on your sheet was about um, being able to tessellate any quadrilateral. So I started off with this turquoise quadrilateral. I found the midpoint of this segment and rotated this turquoise one by 180 degrees. Found the midpoint of this segment, rotated by 180 degrees around that. Did the same thing over here. I found this midpoint, rotated the turquoise by 180 degrees. Found the midpoint of this segment, rotated around by 180 degrees. So you can see how um, that has happened so far. And then um, as I move these points around, all the shapes are changing. But can you see how if we took this turquoise one and slid it over here, it would fill that gap? We can slide it up, we can slide it over here, we can slide it over down there, and we would start to tessellate, tessellate this shape. Um, to make that happen, I could go back to one of these sides, find the midpoint of this segment, and we'll construct that midpoint, and then I'll take this shape and mark the center, transform, rotate by 180, and I'll change that color to the turquoise so you can see how that's the shape going in the same direction, how it filled that gap. I can do the same thing to come up here, and then again, if I start moving these, all those gaps are filled. I keep getting the exact same shape over and over again. So the key to tessellating a quadrilateral is rotating by 180 degrees around each side of the quadrilateral, and that gives you the new one. Now, another interesting thing here is that if I connect all these midpoints together, so we construct those segments, I get this quadrilateral, which is going to be a parallelogram. So our original shape is all based off of a parallelogram. Parallelograms are very easy to tessellate. I can translate them up, down, left, and right, and that would easily fill up the entire space. And because we're using these midpoints and rotating by 180, this is based off of a parallelogram. And so I hope that helps with this part of the question.